Let me show you some features of our 11 foot telescoping ramp. One of the nice features with these telescoping ramps is it has the built in lip that will hook right onto our trailer. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, ramps slipping out on you or tying them off to the trailer or anything like that. So basically we'll just take that lip, place it out on the rail of our trailer and we're securely attached to that trailer at this point. Let me grab the second ramp. We will attach it the same way. Just slide that lip over the rail. When these ramps are collapsed down, they're just about six feet long. The cool thing with them to give us a much better angle getting up onto that trailer, they will telescope all the way out to 11 feet. The built-in stop there on the ramp will stop you from pulling the ramp too far out. At their extended length, they're just about 11 feet, which is really needed when you're loading a long wheelbase side-by-side -side or anything like that. Even with ATVs, it really gives you a nice gradual angle to get up onto the trailer. With those long wheelbase side-by-sides, it is important to have a long ramp to keep you from bottoming out on the back rail as you're loading and unloading. Each ramp is stamped at a 1,000 pound capacity, so you're 2,000 pounds for the set. A lot of questions we get with guys with the four seat razors or Can-Ams or anything is, well, my machine's approaching that weight limit. Um, when you're loading your machine, your front tires, if you can imagine, are gonna be on there. By the time your back tire gets onto that ramp, your front tire is already off of the ramp. So a lot of the times your weight is distributed um, with any normal side-by-side, -side, you're gonna be very hard pressed exceeding the weight limit on these ramps. All right, after you've got your side-by-side -side loaded, we'll just collapse our ramps down, hang on to the handle, slide the lower portion into the upper portion. What I like to do is I like to take my ramps, flip them upside down, and slide them right underneath my machine. Once we get that other ramp in there, then we'll just go ahead and throw a ratchet strap and tighten them down. 